The Department of Public Health and Human Services is pleased to bring you Aging Horizons. Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, Fraud, Legal Issues, Veterans Benefits and Caregiving. Aging Horizons is a program dedicated to inform and prepare Montanans on these timely issues, making a difference to you and your loved ones. Here now is today's program host. Hi folks and welcome to Aging Horizons. On today's show we'll be talking about arthritis. Arthritis is the number one cause of disability in the nation. 58 million Americans have disabilities and 27% of our population has arthritis. We'll be talking about a special program through the Department of Public Health and Human Services, how they're helping to address this with individuals and organizations, so stay tuned. I think the most pleasant surprise when we turned 65 and signed up for Medicare Part B was finding out about our Welcome to Medicare preventive visit. It was free and it gave us the opportunity to visit with our doctors and establish a plan for our health going forward. They reviewed our medical history, measured our height, weight, blood pressure, and counseled us on other risk factors. To learn more about Medicare's free or low-cost preventive and wellness benefits, call your local SHIP counselor at 800-551-3191. I mentioned it's free, right? Twice. This is Bill. He just received his new Medicare card and is following some simple rules to protect himself from fraud. He knows to never give out his Medicare, Social Security, or bank number over the phone. And this is Nancy. She knows that to detect any problems, she always reads her Medicare Summary Notice or Medicare Advantage EOB to make sure the billing is correct. Both Bill and Nancy know that anything suspicious can be reported to Montana SMP at 1-800-551-3191. Receiving help for Ella has been life-changing and the best word for it is relief. I was the therapist, I was the aide, and I couldn't be the mom because I, emotionally you're just to your wits end, you're trying to survive. I provide care for the Harrises, specifically their daughter Ella. Respite care is extremely challenging, but the rewards that you receive from it are a hundred times more than working with a child that doesn't have special needs. Once they get something, it's everything. It's a celebrate. You, ce you celebrate. You don't just enjoy those moments. You celebrate every moment that you get that you guided them to that next step. Respite. It's okay to need it. It's okay to want it. Will you provide it? Call 800-224-6034 or visit respite.mt.gov. It went from survival to enjoying life and being able to be a mom again. Brought to you by the Montana Broadcasters and this station. Well, welcome to Aging Horizons, brought to you by the Department of Public Health and Human Services Senior and Long-Term Care Division. I'm your host, Brian Lamore, and as I mentioned earlier, we're talking about arthritis. You may not have known, but it is quite a big issue uh, in Montana. 27% of our population, if we're at a million, that's about 270,000 people. And DPHHS has a special program that they're operating. It's arthritis. And we've got the top two people in the department here to talk about that. We have Melissa Dale, you're the uh, program manager, and Heather Welsh, you're the supervisor. Welcome to the show. It's great to have you guys here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> great. Well, Melissa, let's start with you. Um, I have always had an idea that people use a lot of words, they don't really know what it is. Uh, but arthritis could be so many things, but please define it for us so we have a common yeah case. that's a great question so um, arthritis when you actually break the word in half uh, the arth actually means joint and then itis means inflammation so it means inflammation mm -hmm. of the joints and for somebody who has arthritis they know that there's some inflammation and potentially pain going on yeah. uh, surprisingly um, there are over a hundred different types of arthritis out there so mm -hmm. um, arthritis and connective tissue diseases so, um, although there's a hundred different types, the main common symptoms between all of the different types of arthritis is there's joint pain, swelling of the joint, um, stiffness, and it can potentially even lead to uh, damages to to the joints over time there. Mm -hmm. And I had arthritis and I remember it felt like I had gravel in my joints or my tendons were too short. But what are some of the most common types of arthritis that we might see in our friends and family or ourselves? Yeah, so like I mentioned, there's over a hundred types of yeah. different arthritis, but they're, the top two we have uh, is the osteoarthritis. And this is the wear and tear um, arthritis. This is the number
number one that we tend to hear. And you can actually see, I have a models of some knees here. And our first knee, this is a really nice, healthy knee joint. You can see the the cartilage, the cushioning, you know, when you're running around, this is going to feel great. Uh, with the second knee joint here, you're going to see that there's a lot of red going on here. And um, this is the osteoarthritis. This is the wear and tear. You see the bone on bone on this model here. So this is osteoarthritis. Uh, and we usually see the osteoarthritis happen with hips and knees and spine and fingers. So that's where we tend to see because it's wear and tear over time. Our second arthritis is our rheumatoid arthritis, which we typically see that happens more in women, unfortunately. Um, Surprisingly, this is actually what we call an autoimmune disease. And so this is when your body is actually attacking your cells. And so in this case, it's attacking joints. And over time, it's going to attack your joints and just, you know, move the joints around, um, cause uh, very disformed uh, hands and also throughout the rest of the body and stuff. So those are our top two um, arthritis that we typically see um, just and then, like I said, there's so many other different types of arthritis, but these are the ones that we, we see quite a bit here. The top ones. And yeah. you know, they're actually medical specialties. There are doctors that specialize in arthritis, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yep. So rheumatologists, they are, uh, they are friends helping us with our arthritis. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So um, unfortunately, they are kind of a short supply in Montana, but if you can get in one, that is great. Mm -hmm. That's good. And uh, so when we, we have arthritis, um, I guess, is it a sudden onset that, man, I can't move, or is it uh, gently start? And when do you think it's, I mean, when do you go to the doctor? I mean, so we're, we're stiff and sore all the time. Yes, <laughs> yeah, no, great question. Um, depends on the type of arthritis. So yeah. all, like I said, there's many, many different types of arthritis. So many, uh, some come on instantly, like rheumatoid arthritis. That one comes on pretty sudden. Um, mm -hmm. And actually is recommended if you feel like you might have rheumatoid arthritis, you need to see the doctor within five, within the first two years, I don't know why I said five years, but within the first two years uh, to help manage that arthritis. As far as the osteoarthritis, this is a uh, over time, and then we start feeling that like aches and pains and all of that. There. So talk to your doctor. Yeah, so talk <laughs> to your doctor you when you're feeling sore. aches and pains and those joints are swelling. You see redness. Yeah. Talk to your health care provider. So, what's the magnitude of arthritis in both the nation and Montana? How many people might have it? So. Um, Arthritis is actually the most second most common chronic health condition out there, yeah. right behind hypertension, which is high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. um, nationally, there's about 58 million adults who have arthritis. In Montana, we actually have, um, so that's about 24% of national level of people who have arthritis. In Montana, unfortunately, it is higher at uh, 27%. So we have quite a few people who have arthritis. Um, also, on top of being the second most common chronic health condition, this is actually the top reason for disability. Uh, oh. For people who experience arthritis over time, they mention that it's hard to hold a, hold a cup open a jar or even walking. So mm -hmm. arthritis, even though it doesn't get a lot of attention, it it's really serious and it does cause a lot of issues over time. And I think it's important to note that it is progressive. Uh, it's mm -hmm. not just that you have the one symptom. Uh, you have coffee with a bunch of old guys like me <laughs> and they say, well, I jammed my thumb in football. I got a bad thumb. I got a bad knee. I have got a bad ankle. And it can result from injuries. Mm -hmm. right? Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, so you definitely want to protect yourself so you prevent arthritis such as osteoarthritis and then learn about maybe potentially other arthritis out there. Okay. So. Well, we quickly, quickly drawn to a close on our first segment and we've got a lot more information talking about arthritis, but kind of a bottom line thing here we're talking about is talk to your doctors. I mean, you've got aches and pains. Yeah, we all do, but sometimes it might be arthritis and they may refer you to a rheumatologist <laughs> <laughs> to help address that issue. We'll be right back. With as many as 1 in 10 Americans at risk for Alzheimer's or some other form of dementia, 
Chances are someone you know and love will receive that diagnosis. When that happens, you may well feel devastated, but know that you are not alone. Help is available. You don't have to face dementia by yourself. Call the free 24-7 Alzheimer's Association helpline, 800-272-3900, for guidance and support. It's been 27 years. I never thought I'd still be smoking, but here I am, COPD and all. I'm about to have a granddaughter. There's so much to show her, but I'm scared I won't be able to keep up like I used to. I kind of gave up on myself on quitting. But it's different now. I want to be here for her and for my daughter. Every generation produces heroes. Men and women who step forward to defend our country in time of need, no matter the personal cost to themselves. And though we can never fully repay them, we can make sure they have access to low-cost, long-term care when they need it. That's what Montana's Veterans Homes are all about. If you've got a hero in need in your family, call us. We can help. Welcome back to Aging Horizons. We're continuing our discussion about arthritis, particularly in Montana. About 27% of our population has arthritis, and it's the number one cause of disabilities. Rejoining us is Heather, uh, Heather Walsh and Melissa Dale. You're with DPHHS Arthritis uh, Project, <laughs> I guess we'll call it. And Melissa, let's start with you. Um, there's do's and don'ts, but um, let's start off at the top is, how do you manage arthritis, or what are the first steps to manage? Yeah, great this. question. So unfortunately, there's no cure for mm -hmm. arthritis out there yet. We're hoping to get a cure, but it's unfortunately just takes a while there. Yeah. So, uh, but there are things that you can do to help manage your arthritis, um, to help uh, alleviate the pain and reduce the stiffness and soreness there. Mm -hmm. uh, before I go too far, I just want to put a disclaimer <laughs> out there. Please talk with your health care providers. The things I'm going to go over six different things. The things I'm going to talk about, mm -hmm. these have been researched um, and they also are uh, just very basic level of things, but you mm -hmm. definitely want to talk to your health care provider to make sure you are doing the individualized treatment that they are prescribing and to appropriate you. appropriate for you. Yes, yeah. so we okay. want to make sure. So, so definitely you can try some of these things out that I'm going to talk about here, but make sure you talk with a health care provider because everybody uh, responds to different treatments for their arthritis. And we there's a hundred different arthritis. Yes, so, exactly. I mean, yeah, it's not all the same. Mm -hmm, exactly. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, so... Um, so I want to just go over several things that people can do to help manage their arthritis. The first thing is to be physically active. So I got my weight here just to show, you know, uh, being physically active is a great option. And actually being physically active is the number one thing that you can help uh, reduce your arthritis pain symptoms. Um, in the arthritis world, we talk about motion is lotion uh -huh. and rest is rust. Okay. Um, I know telling people like who are not feeling great that they are uh, having stiffness and soreness and saying you need to move but <laughs> moving actually is going to help uh, in multiple ways the first thing is um, when you're moving you're keeping your joints lubricated and so then you're less likely to be stiff and just sore mm -hmm. uh, the second thing uh, with being physically active and doing exercises especially like weight bearing exercises is you're continuing to maintain or build your muscles and so so you're actually keeping your muscles built up around your joints so it'll keep them in place instead of letting them move around ah, there. So, okay. Well, you uh, know, when you mention that, what comes to mind, what, what age range are, do we expect our people to have arthritis? Is it something more of an older person thing? When you said re rest is rust, I think a lot of seniors <laughs> do that, but uh, I imagine younger people can get arthritis. Yes, yeah, so actually, in, I know just typically people think, 
Oh, it's an old person's yeah. uh, issue, but actually over almost 50%, I'd almost say 50% of uh, individuals who are working age have arthritis. Oh, so okay. there's wow. quite a few, it's, it's, it's all ranges. Issue. And even in Montana, we have a lot of kids, about 3,000 kids who have juvenile arthritis. Oh, so boy. It, anybody and everybody, unfortunately. So get a weight and start moving. <laughs> yes, yes, just get a weight, get, think of an exercise program that you want to do just be physically active uh, like I said motion is lotion rest is rest um, find activities that are gentle and that you enjoy such as walking riding your bike uh, swimming we do uh, say to avoid like high impact exercises so like yeah. jumping running even tennis things like that anything that's gonna be really hard and on hard on your joints and yeah, stuff there. Stop and go. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. okay. um, so another thing is uh, weight loss. Uh, that kind of goes along with the physical activity, but uh, if you're overweight or over obese, okay. uh -huh. um, you actually have, you put a lot of pressure on those joints there, and um, especially the weight bearing joints, so those hip and knees and ankles, and by losing just one pound of body weight, you actually take off four pounds of pressure oh. off your, your weight bearing joints there. Wow. So that's another, another thing to help work on managing the arthritis. Um, some other things are relaxation therapies, and so these are, um, Doing things like journaling, listening to music, meditating, praying, doing yoga, mm -hmm. uh, even just being out in nature um, is great. And this actually, by being relaxed and being out in the um, doing just feeling better mm -hmm. you actually take your mind off the pain and then you reduce uh, your muscle tensions and then help increase the endorphins which are those happy hormones that everybody feels good with there <laughs> yeah. yeah um another thing to do is to do hot and cold therapy and so um I have a ice pack that can be either used in an ice pack or a hot pack, but for hot cold therapy, you can um, you know, sit in the bathtub or put a hot compressant on on your joints to help relieve the muscle tension and pain. And then you can also use it also as cold therapy. Um, cold therapy, if you end up having um, you know, swelling or anything like that, um, that will help reduce the uh, tension. So if we're using like, an, some type of hot and cold therapy will help reduce your pain and joint uh, stiffness there. Okay. And, and you know, then you've got medications there too. Yes. Uh, how do we how does it how do we address arthritis with medications? Yeah. So um, again, you definitely want to talk to your healthcare provider. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm not like promoting anything, but you want to help talk to your healthcare provider about different types of medications that you could potentially use, or even using over the counter. Um, pain relievers or creams. Um, while most of these things, the pain relievers and creams, they are safe, they all do have some type of side effects. But these are options, like I said, make sure you talk to your healthcare provider to make sure they're a safe option for you. So these are all different options to help work on managing your okay. arthritis pain. Great, and we're almost to a close on this segment, but if you're using over-the-counter me uh, medications, uh, be sure to look at the warning labels. They say don't use them for too long a time. That's how I got in contact with my rheumatologist. <laughs> so we got a lot more great information about classes. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. You've probably seen some big name celebrities on your TV lately talking about all the Medicare benefits you're missing out on. But the insurance companies who are paying for these ads may be pushing benefits not available in Montana. Fortunately, help is available from a friendly state health insurance assistance program counselor who can help you sort it all out. It's free, and we screen everyone for eligibility regardless of your zip code. It's Montanans helping Montanans. Call today. Today, class, we'll be discussing the term ombudsman, a word we borrowed from the Swedes and never gave back. Say you're a resident or you have a loved one in long-term care. Now, what do you do if you're not happy with the care and services you receive? You call your long-term care ombudsman, of course. Your ombudsman is available to support you and your rights. An advocate on your behalf could be the ticket. This is your home. 
If you have questions, the numbers right there below me have all the answers. Class dismissed. I was diagnosed with diabetes in 1992, and I went into denial. It made me angry. I was a professional chef, and it, I didn't want to change my eating style. It took me a long time to get serious about managing my health. My perspective changed from resentment to one of loving my body, the container for my spirit. Getting help from my diabetes educator supported my goals of improved self-care. I want to feel good and have a great life. My diabetes educator helps me do this. More fuels, more fires, more fear. You don't have to live in the forest to be threatened by wildfire. In 18 years, the number of fires per year has increased by a thousand and tripled the acreage burned. Turn it around. Advocate for forest management. Form a group. Craft a plan. Mitigate the fire hazard. You and your community can't dismiss the trend, but you can mitigate the risk. FiresafeMT.org can help. Paid for by FireSafe Helena and aired by the Montana Broadcasters Association. Welcome back to Aging Horizons. I'm your host, Brian Lamore, and we're continuing our discussion about arthritis, particularly in Montana. Uh, prior to segments, we talked about what is the problem, what are some of the resources. Uh, so now we're going to talk about what's available in your local communities and resources that are available on the Internet for you. Rejoin us is Melissa Dale and Heather Welch. And Heather, let's start with you. There's actually classes that are out there that uh, we're helping to sponsor, DPHHS. Uh, tell us more about those. Yeah, so the Montana Arthritis Work Program works with several types of partners throughout the state um, to offer a couple different classes that anybody can participate in. Yeah. So you don't even have to have arthritis to participate in these yeah. classes, but just remember the classes were designed for people um, who have arthritis to help with their symptoms. Yeah. So we have a couple different classes that our partners throughout the state are offering. So the first class that we have is called SAIL, S-A-I-L, Stay Active and Independent for Life. And that is a 12-week program that is offered two or three times a week for one hour. And this class is an exercise class designed for older adults that focuses on strength, balance, and mobility. And the class features a variety of gentle joint safe movements and can be adapted to various fitness levels. Mm -hmm. And then the next class that we have is called the Walk With Ease. And this program is a walking program that focuses on how to walk safely and comfortably with arthritis. And then at each class, um, there are educational lessons. It is offered for six weeks and the participants are encouraged to walk at least three times a week. Um, and the class itself can be offered as a group class or it can be offered virtual. Um, so that means the, in, the individual can just do the walking class on their own. They don't have to go to the location where it's being offered. Yeah. Um, however, if they are going to a class where they're meeting as a group, um, the class can last anywhere from 10 to 60 minutes. Yeah, and I imagine, you know, when you're starting <laughs> out, you are probably do less than others, but that's fine. Yep. And some people are more accomplished. They just want to get you there. Yeah, <laughs> yep. <laughs> right? Yep. Well, now, Montana is a big state. How do we find out what's available in our community? Yeah, so um, on our website, we have a map that will show all of the classes that are being offered throughout the state. Um, and you can, once you find the map, you can click on the county that you live in and it will show all the different organizations along with the contact information for those organizations for you to contact to see when and where they are offering the class. Okay, that's great. Well, I'm in Helena and I think our health club, when you're uh, receiving Medicare, many times if you have a supplemental plan, you can belong to a health club. Are, they, are these classes in a lot of health clubs? Yeah, so we really have a different variety of organizations mm -hmm. that offer them. We have some at the gyms, some at local hospitals, senior centers, county health departments. Um, they're pretty, it's a pretty wide variety of organizations that offer the programs. Mm -hmm. And I imagine if you have arthritis, you're talking to your rheumatologist, they have that information. Your rheumatologist is probably associated with the hospital. The hospital probably has uh, some programs and resources, so just ask. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or go to the website. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But now let's talk about research. You know, uh, you mentioned uh, earlier that there's over 100 different types of arthritis. Um, 
they're so diverse, but they must have some commonalities. What kind of research is going on? Yeah, so with both of the programs that I mentioned, um, they are an evidence-based program, so that means that there has been a lot of research um, on these programs of people who have participated in them. Um, so it shows that participants that attend any of these classes are able um, to that are able to participate in the day-to-day -day activities and we see a decrease in pain and a decrease in depression of participants who attend the classes and keep continue to go through them. Mm -hmm. I know uh, one of our area agencies in Great Falls started an exercise program for seniors and they did some research on it and it was so successful the hospital set up free exercise yeah. <laughs> equipment and everything for seniors and you know to, to get out and to move um, I guess that's it right there. Get out and move, right? And it doesn't have to be anything too complicated, does it? <laughs> no, not at all. And so we, I talked about those two classes, but really um, there are a whole bunch of different classes that you can attend in your community that will help you with your arthritis, um, such as water aerobics, tai chi, or other low impact exercises mm -hmm. that, as you mentioned, your, your local gym might be offering, um, or if there's a local walking group, anything like that um, will help with your arthritis. Okay, that's great. And um, Melissa, let's uh, kind of recap what the department does for individuals with arthritis. I mean, what, what's your mission and how do you meet those objectives? Yeah, so our mission is to increase the awareness about arthritis. Um, so we're wanting people to understand that they're you know, if you have arthritis, make sure you go into your healthcare provider and understanding what is going on. And then we also want to help be able to man help Montanans be able to manage their arthritis. And so our main goal is to provide education um, both to all Montanans, but also healthcare providers across mm -hmm. Montana. So they know about these classes. And then our other focus is to bring these classes into your local community. So we work with local partners to bring the sale and walk with these into uh, into Montana. <laughs> That's great. And Heather, on your website, uh, you have a treasure trove of resources for individuals with arthritis or their loved ones uh, who have a, someone with arthritis. What's on the website? Yeah, so we have a whole bunch of different resources that connect you to um, national organizations such as the Arthritis Foundation, um, the Osteoarthritis Action Alliance. There's a whole bunch of different articles, resources um, that can provide you more information. If you're recently diagnosed with arthritis, you can find out all the information about that specific type of arthritis on our website and other websites. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you both for coming on the show and for what you do for Montanans. We really appreciate that. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful. And for our viewers, you know, we've been talking about arthritis. We mentioned about 27% of Montanans have arthritis and it's the one, number one cause of disability. There are over 100 types of arthritis and to adequately um, analyze which one you have and to address its particular needs is to talk to your physician, and, which is really important, of course. For Aging Horizons, I'm Brian Lamore. Thank you for joining us. Special thanks to the Department of Public Health and Human Services for their continued support. Hosts on Aging Horizons are program specialists at the Montana Office on Aging. Production facilities provided by Video Express Productions. For more information about Aging Horizons, call the Department of Public Health and Human Services toll-free at 800-332-2272.